powerful. Instead, though, the Lulu opting for more trading power, opting for to try and contest the Milio Draven a bit more in the lane phase. Again, the Void Fight buff really only super powerful at five or six stacks. You need two on the second spawn as well as the first three. Time is, time is. Oh, oh play with perks, but they're spotted. Perks on the way down there first, though. Four members here on the bottom side. Yanko's already ready to kick things off. Can't just ult Targamus and force an easy flash out to safety. Targamus taking his time. We'll flash now, flash back and push in. Targamus goes down and crucially, Flacket picking up first blood, courtesy of the ultimate. Big kill for the Wonder taking a little bit of extra damage from the Ocean Drake. Slow on that one, always gonna be a bit frustrating, but it's three members over the back of the pit from Team Heretics. KC don't really have the tools to fight back. Package maybe means the follow-up. They can grab a kill, but the Dragon already down in favor of Team Heretics. I, for Carmen Corp, they never wanted to fight it, though. Look at where Upset is. Essentially, all they wanted to do was but try and... For Carmen Corp, if they can slow and draw it, slow down and draw it this game, they're in a good spot. But that's not what Bo wants to do right now, as Yanko's going to look for him. Flag. Oh, Cataclysm first. Flag drag ready if they need to follow up here. Draven all now coming in as well. Bo going to be locked down before the Dragon spawns. That is key. Sleepy driver on the backside. Upset still laying down a little bit of damage, but fantastic pick for the side of Team Heretics. I'm way too much aggression from Bo. You breaking mid lane tier one is important. Wonder and Kaiser in the area. Mid lane tier one for Dragon. Not a terrible trade. They should get a second charge here. Maybe they can get it, but I mean, just an old diff at the moment. Heretics are playing for those. with the package. Cabo on the flank. Unstoppable now going forward onto Yankos. We'll just back away. But no, the Polymorph is perfect. It stops the flag and drag from coming through. Damage from upset. Yankos marked. Can he follow up with the auto? Yankos marked. He's just out of range. Upset cannot right click him and finish the kill. Before the next fight, Yankos' is ultimate has infinite value against upset. Maybe they're trying to get up Perks in there. Well. Trying to lock down Perks. The pushback is there, but Upset has to follow up with the autos. Chakram coming in. That's going to be one sleepy Perks. Kaiser now bringing him in. Cleanse now coming through. Bo flashing out to safety. Meanwhile, Yanko's going into the midst of the entire team. Bo doing what he can, but he's already been knocked down. TP from Saken. He's in the area. He's got no package. Wonder stepping forward. Q3 up and available. Will not connect. Upset perfect guns for a fight. Team Heretics. Debating if they want to push for more. KC already backing away. Outside team Heretics, they will walk away. They know that if they overcommit to that one, they probably just throw the entire game. So conceding third Drake. Soul point to Team Heretics, but no soul yet. Heretic. An upset so close to being relevant. But Flag made drag, the Targamus, quick flash out to safety. Bo, they really want to get his flash. It's not quite available yet. They're trying to finish off the Lilia. Swirl Seed going in. Flack had marked out by the Sleep. Alti coming in from Cabo. Positive start to the fight. The Draven going to go to sleep. They're immediately going to cleanse that one off. Upset on the side, but keep your eyes on Perks. Looking for the flank. Fishing. KC, five members strong. Upset, not great guns for a fight. His DPS is going to be relatively low. Competitor point of the game he is at. Casey pushing Team Heretics back for now. Again, though, Perks, passive up and available. Can't just stand next to this tower and feel relatively secure. Cabo may have overextended here a little bit. Do not want to give that shutdown. One more auto coming through. Perks again, just barely living. The second time this game, he's managed to make it out alive. But now it's Heretics running for the hills, and it's Carmen Corp running straight for Baron. You have TP, four perks, you can come back in. Wonder TP in. from Wonder as well. They're going to sandwich Carmen Corp in available. Upset, now he's got the right guns for a fight. They have to play this one flawlessly, but it's Wonder on the backside. Polymorph now coming through. Upset still standing call. Keep your eyes on Saken, keep your eyes on that package. Upset already gone! Wonder snaps him out of the game like Thanos. Yanko standing beside him. KC, it looks so good, like maybe they finally had the fight. But Cabo's reanimated corpse, not enough to get anything done. That's 37 seconds. Heretics don't even want to go for Baron. I'm not, hey. more than happy to have picked up all those kills in the back. Yeah. Bo, though, on the chase now. Perks has the flash up and available. Bo burning him, hits it right before the damage now comes in, trying to finish off Perks. Bo getting chunked down, target missing the area. Saken now trying to follow up. Perks flash out to safety, still standing for now. Kaiser on the way in, once again, ready to be the hero. Speeding him up, shielding him, but it's not enough. Saken crucially picking up that shutdown. Didn't have the ultimate available, so couldn't quite get enough healing. No flash available either. Yankos in by Saken, though. Which way are you going to go? Exhaust is there. That's one for Flacken. Massive money now coming in. Yankos are going to keep this one going. Upset about to swap off the worst possible guns for the exchange. There is no fight to be had here. But there's a terror to be taken in topside the entire time that this is going on for Heretics. Wonder is just pushed into that top lane. He's going to get a turret for himself at the back of it. Yankos, can he try and delay a little bit here? Maybe look for more. Oh. Decimating smash, the smite comes through. Bo is down. Wonder continues the push on the top side. So to PGL support round table. So if you want to learn all about that role, the likes of Mickey, Alvaro, Hillisang, Trimby. Tune in for that one. Gonna be a banger.
In the meantime, this game, a banger for Flacken. 2-0-4. Like Jeff Bezos on the Rift. He is so stacked. There you go. Alti now coming in for Kabashar. Kabashar trying to retreat. Wonder looking to chase him down. That's the tank taken off the board already. Kabashar going to do a little bit of damage back, but KC really no way for them to respond to this. They have lost their front line. They have lost their ability to fight front to back. Meritix much stronger. Stepping up means risking dying to wonder. And it's not a slow siege anymore. Meritix going straight for the throat. And they know that they can take this and just fall back to Dragon if they want to. There's no pressure on Heretix to try and overextend here. Even the Terra in the mid lane going to make sure that it's impossible for Carmen Corp to push this one out. Oh, oh spotted. Hey, Sleepy Perks. Do they have the fall damage? Bo now trying to make it out to safety. Unstoppable. Perks is burning. Will Perks finally go down? The answer is no. Exact same story here from Heretics. Even if it's a different name, it's still the same brand. Absolutely is. Black and not afraid to step in and just auto-attack this tower, knowing that Yankos and Wonder can create enough space. Kabashar once again in trouble. Flag and drag from Yankos to the side. Alti going in, will not finish off Kabo. Does a decent chunk of damage to Saken. Double cannon minions empowered here. Might be enough to just end this one as Bo. Getting chunked out the next wave. Team Heretics looking to finish this game the way they started it, clean. Not leaving any room for KC to try and fire back. Swirl Seed gonna miss. Last tower will fall. They can just A-click the Nexus if they want to. Wonder ready to step forward. Finally, the package goes in, but it's too little. It is too late. Perks pushing them back to their fountain, sending them home. Team Heretics, clean, compose, collected. Knocking KC down to 0 and 6. Carmen Corp going up against another Spanish representative and just couldn't quite find what they needed to get it across the line. But for Heretics, a very confident performance there. Slow, steady, making sure they are matching Carmen Corp as they rotate around the map. And then having Flackett on this drive and pop off. Support from Yanko is working out beautifully for them. Absolutely did. And I think that the big thing there is with the kind of composition that KC put together, you had to play it clean. You can't really give them those avenues to come back into the game with the potential for their range advantage.